1 pm एम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय तरनम सलमान द हेडलाइंस The president has urged the corporate sector to play its important role in social service and community welfare. The foreign minister says foreign office is leading from the front through economic diplomacy to overcome the national economic challenges. At the United Nations, Pakistan has slammed Israel's unabated settlement activity in occupied Palestinian territory as a setback to peace. And in Venezuela, 16 people have been killed in clashes during anti-government protests. And now the news in detail. President Arif Alvi has urged corporate sector to play its important role in social service and community welfare. Addressing the 11th Corporate Social Responsibility Summit in Islamabad today, he said the corporate sector needs to work towards bringing improvement in different sectors, especially health, education and skill development. The president said the corporate sector working alongside the government will bring a genuine change and steer the people out of poverty. Foreign Minister Mahdoum Shah Mahmood Qureshi says the foreign office is leading from the front through economic diplomacy to overcome the national economic challenges addressing the participants of the 38th diplomatic course in Islamabad today he said all the confronting challenges can be coped with better foreign policy the foreign minister asked the participants of the course to act as a bridge between Pakistan and international community in order to further strengthen the country's existing ties with the world he urged them to work hard with honesty and firm commitment while executing their responsibilities to enlighten the name of their country through successful diplomacy the emerging world order also offers immense new opportunities for pakistan a dynamic foreign policy must capitalize on these opportunities and respond to the challenges our diplomats have a heavy responsibility to respond to these developments they have to represent pakistan in the best possible manner and to protect our interests at the international arena i have full confidence in my ministry to safeguard and promote interests of pakistan Foreign Office spokesperson Dr Mohammad Faisal has regretted that India is showing a childish attitude towards finalizing the draft agreement on Kartarpur corridor at his weekly news briefing in Islamabad today he said Pakistan on Monday had shared a draft agreement with the Indian authorities and invited an Indian delegation to Pakistan to discuss and finalize modalities for the agreement Special assistant to the Prime Minister on Overseas Pakistanis and Human Resource Development Zulfikar Bukhari called on Iraqi President Barham Saleh in Baghdad. He apprised the president that Pakistan seeks an increase in its labor force in Iraq amid the development activities in the country. The two sides agreed upon creating a mechanism to increase the supply of Pakistani manpower to Iraq. Zulfikar Bukhari said all economic sectors in Iraq have the potential to see extraordinary growth in future and Pakistan has has ample supply of manpower that can prove to be crucial for the development activities in the country at the united nations pakistan has slammed israel's unabated settlement activity in occupied palestinian territory and termed it as a setback to peace speaking at a debate on the middle east situation in the un security council pakistani delegate saad ahmed varaj said the expanded illegal israeli settlements are a blatant disregard for international law and will of global community which are worsening the situation In occupied Kashmir the Indian forces have intensified the checking and frisking in the name of so-called security measures ahead of India's Republic Day on Saturday. Chinese Vice President Wang Qixian has said Chinese and US economies are mutually indispensable so their relations must be mutually beneficial and win-win. Talking to an audience at the World Economic Forum in Davos he said this is a reality that neither side can work can do without the other. 
and in Venezuela, 16 people have been killed in clashes during anti-government protests. According to reports, protesters clashed with security forces and happened in the states of Amazonas, Barinas, Bolivar, Caracas. Large-scale protests against President Nicolas Maduro were organized in many regions of the country. Several countries recognized him as interim president, including Argentina, Brazil, Guatemala, Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica, Paraguay, Peru, the United States, Chile, and Ecuador. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.